Shauna from Blah Blah Studios. And today our first episode is going to say, be about how to say emehara in English. So emehara has many different meanings in English. First word is iffy. Second is uncertain. Third is unclear. Fourth is vague. And the fifth word is ambiguous. So first word, iffy. Iffy, iffy, ya, ya, iffy, iffy, ya. So if you live in Korea or abroad, you may have heard the song Iffy with J Park, PH1, and Shik K. So you've heard the song and you're just like, iffy, iffy, hmm, what does that word mean? So iffy can mean uncertain and doubtful. So let's say you invited your friend to a party and she was uncertain about if she's going to come to this party. She didn't really tell, give you a yes or no answer. So you can say she seems iffy about coming to the party. So that's the first example of how to use the word iffy. Let's go into word number two. Second word is uncertain, which means not known. So let's say, for example, you're going to samtade with a guy, right? Did I say that right, Sam? Samtade. Samtade. <laughs> My Korean is very bad. So you are uncertain about his feelings. You don't know if he likes you. You've kissed maybe once or twice. You've held hands. You went to the movies together, but you are still uncertain about how he feels about you. So let's go into word number three, which is unclear. So unclear is when you don't understand what was being said. Unclear can be used in a sentence as the instructions were unclear. So let's say you are trying to set up your TV and they don't really give you clear instructions on what to do. So you can say, ah, oh, these instructions are so unclear. So let's go into word number four, which is vague. Vague means it's not enough information. Your answer was vague. So you're writing a test and you give your teacher is giving you a question and the teacher says, oh, this question is wrong. Sorry, do it again. Why is it wrong, teacher? Because you didn't have enough information. So your answer was vague. Also, someone can ask you a question and you don't understand the question because the question was vague. So you can say, I vaguely understand the question. Let's go into our fifth word, ambiguous. So ambiguous is a little bit hard to explain mainly because it means the same as uncertain, unclear, and vague. You only use ambiguous when you're trying to sound like more professional. So ambiguous is open to interpretation. So you can say his gender is ambiguous. So that means like he's very gender neutral. You don't know if he's a man. You don't know if he's a woman. It's very hard to tell. So his gender. So. If you have any questions about how to use these words, please like, comment, and subscribe to Blah Blah Studios, and we'll do our best to get back to you and answer any of your questions. Thank you for watching.